Hello everybody, I'm Sunflower Man, men's fashion illustrator, back with another fashion illustration. We just completed the uh, Tom Ford, David Off fashion illustration. I pull it from over, well, anyway, crushed it. That's what you're watching right now, or about to watch in a few seconds. Uh, this was a really cool one for me. Tom Ford is obviously one of the top icons personally, but his brand, what he's done with it over the years, moving from the big brand, we won't say the name of, to creating Tom Ford, all the women's styles that crushed it. Then he created a men's brand and blew everybody out of the, the water. His ability to market, I think, is what really sets him apart. Obviously, he has a strong sense of design and identity, bold lapels, strong shoulders. Like, he has a, a look. Tom Ford has a look for men and he marketed it really well. When I really got into Tom Ford was after watching uh, his first movie. He did his first movie and it was really breathtaking. He watched some interviews with Tom Ford and he talks a lot about wanting to be a producer. That's what he wanted to do from the beginning. That was his goal. He got into fashion and then he took that and made, took the opportunity with that to create some movies. So I'm actually, I'm watching the video right here in the background right now. I'm watching this Tom Ford illustration with the, the David Off cigar. And it starts with pencil every time. So I have my Pentel Graph Gear 500, which I love. I have a Statler drafting pencil, which is the blue one, where I usually start off with. And then I go in with all of the details with the Pentel Graph Gear 500. The fire in the background is all drawn sketching because I wanted it to be soft and not too sharp and that's why I use the Statler drafting pencil because it's a, a thicker lead rather than the Pentel Graph Gear 500 which is a 0.5 millimeter. After I finish the drawing, I cover the painting in a layer of water and lay it in the first wash of color. And I want that color to cover the entire painting. It sets the tone, it sets the identity of this particular illustration. So I lay that in, maybe pull a little bit out of where I want pure whites to stay. And then I, I finish the background first. That's where I go into. So the smoke behind the figure here is sort of erupting almost it's it's like the the plumage of smoke from a volcano it's swirling up behind our figure here our figure who's wearing the tom ford tuxedo and is levitating the david off cigar the glow at first I, it felt very textural in the background and i wasn't sure how that would come across when you really get into the details of things sometimes you lose perspective of the broader image and I was going into it laying in all of, all of that texture and it, it just felt like a, a mash of, of dots and I wasn't going for pointillism uh, in any in any way shape or form but after I stepped back and began laying in the red carpet after I finished with the flames I could re I got this sense of the smoke billowing up from the ground and swirling there's a lot of action and motion and I think the texture helps add to that kind of this shakiness then we move in we zoom in on the tuxedo because i want you guys to have a, a closer look here lay in i started with a, a really uh, teal blue actually and even in the hat there you can see the the blue is much more prominent then i i, I mix a black on my palette to create the black for the tuxedo. I allow the yellows to shine from the fire on the tuxedo. You know, a tuxedo is black and that's how we imagine things, but the light that is all around you is going to be reflected even on a black surface. So the tuxedo has the yellow, a bit of the orange. Uh, once you get up to his right arm, the arm that's floating the cigar, it's a little more gray, a little more blue from the smoke. 
and the cigar let's talk about that you guys were great on instagram we posted on stories during the process of this painting and asked which cigar do you want this to be right it was a little bit off the cuff i knew i wanted it to just be a cigar in the painting but which cigar company would be interesting so i, I narrowed it down to two that i'd be interested in nat sherman and davidoff cigars put that poll up on instagram you guys voted i think i can put that in here you guys voted it was a close one it was like 55 45 for Davidoff. So I picked a Davidoff Nicaragua Toro cigar, uh, kind of highly rated, um, but fairly accessible cigar that you can, uh, I, I've not smoked one myself, but I tried to pick one that seemed accessible, but also of, of uh, high quality. So we put the Davidoff cigar in there. The hat is a worth and worth. They're an amazing bespoke company in New York. They make bespoke hats. This is not worth and worth. Sorry, this is a different hat, but I've been wearing this hat for two years straight, so I can't get rid of it. The shoes, we haven't talked about the shoes at all yet. Those are George Cleverly. I love the, the brand, George Cleverly. They make bespoke shoes in England, some of the highest quality in the world. So I like to throw them in as many paintings as possible. You'll see them in some of my previous paintings as well. I'll, I'll link to everything in the post below. We zoom in, there's smoke swirling from the cigar. I love this moment, adding the smoke at the end of a painting. I love how it just ah, swirls. Actually, I think I can animate that because I scanned the version before. Ooh, that's very exciting. I think I'm gonna try to animate that. We'll see, no promises. F finishing touch, I actually thought I was done before I added this detail into the carpet. I thought, I was like, okay, done, this is good. I kept looking at it, that red was glaring at me and I didn't like it, so I decided let's go ahead and add some patterning in the the red carpet it's not a classic red carpet now because it's carpeted but it, because it's uh patterned but i think what it's doing for me is it's it's just creating a much more interesting illustration composition so as a whole i think this painting crushes you got a levitating man wearing a tom ford tuxedo you've got the davidoff cigar it's very classy george cleverly shoes worth and worth hat all very high-end classic man the watch we won't talk about that but i i base it off uh well i guess we will talk about it. i'm talking about it right now a haldeman horology watch the h1 brilliant brilliant watch uh manufacturer designer engineer bayat haldeman designs those watches so i always love throwing those in as much as possible this is the latest piece the latest uh in my series of surreal men's fashion illustrations thank you for watching i'm sunflower man as always, follow on Instagram, follow on Facebook. Links are in the description below. If you have any questions about technique, about process, about style, hit me up in the comments and I will get back with you. Thank you.